Hey again, everyone. I'm back and I'm going to continue to try and do this once a month webcast, podcast, whatever you wish to call it. And for now, unnamed webcast or podcast. Uh, so, yep, got some things on my mind. So here we go. This week, I wanted to talk a little bit about scope. Um, those that are newish to this whole thing, scope is like your field of practice or vision. And in uh, the fitness world's case, uh, it's it's said that, and it's it's good practice to stay quote unquote stay in your lane in a lot of ways. Um, so as a as a strength coach and a personal trainer, I shouldn't be trying to diagnose industry industry the injuries. There we go, got there. Um, should not be trying to diagnose injuries. That said, there's also something to be able to help with injuries as well, and know just having some experience in knowing what's what, uh, you know, my, I've got 10 years now in this, in this industry plus, um, started 2012. So almost 12 years, uh, actually more than 12 years, not here nor there. Uh, I have, I've seen plenty and, uh, know what plenty of injuries look like when they happen. And it doesn't mean that I know exactly what happened. It doesn't mean I can sit there and say, you're going to do this, so you should do this treatment. But in the moment when I'm in the middle of a session, if something happens to a client, I can't just say, well, I, I'm hands off. I can't I, I can't help you. That's, that, that doesn't go well for myself as a business person, and it's not going to go well for the client's experience either. And if we're in this field for the right reasons and doing it for the, um, for the right things, those that often looks like we're trying to take care of the clients, right? So if, you know, a client happens to be doing a jump and turns their ankle, like, uh, if I'm just like, oh, I can't do anything about your turned ankle, well, that sucks. And their session's pretty much ruined. But if I know what to do to help them get through the turned ankle, it's going to be better off for them in the long haul, number one. But number two, they're their time with me will continue to be a more positive experience. It's obviously going to have a somewhat negative light to it because, uh, you know, we slipped and had an injury happen, but, um, or anything to the like, um, that's just one little example. So, uh, for me, this talk is about how, how broad should your scope be? And when do you stop? And for me, um, so it's, everyone should have a specialty. Obviously, my specialty is just picking shit up and putting it back down. Um, that's not an actual specialty. I get it. But that's you get what I'm saying. Um, but like, I know what advice I can give to my clients when, terms, when it comes to nutrition. Um, I can't. The line is I stop at meal plans. Like, I should not be <laughs> prescribing, subscribing, whatever, meal plans. Um not my forte. It's not my forte, nor is it my field. That is up to a registered dietitian, and I will let them do that. And that's where that is. Uh, likewise, if a client has a knot or something really that's just bugging them in one of their muscles, I can show them certain things that are going to help them help help relieve that. But I I'm not going to put hands on them because I'm not an LMT. Simple as that. Do I know? Do I and should I know some ways to help them relieve the discomfort that's currently happening? Absolutely. That's that's something that I can definitely do and it's not going to jeopardize my my business or the client's experience. So we should, um, for me, I think every quality strength coach, tra personal trainer, whatever, should have, be able to push a little bit beyond their boundaries a little bit not again we're not gonna diagnose injuries we're not gonna i'm not trying to open heart surgery here that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is we should be willing to um give advice where we can and it doesn't mean again it doesn't mean that we're trying to overstep our boundaries i that also means that we should have a network for so when people ask well do you know someone that can help me with x Yes, I know exactly who can help you with X. Here, let me get you in touch with them. So it's all a matter of, do you have a professional network that you can lean on? And if not, can you lean on maybe someone else's professional network just to um, 
have answers for your client and do we really need to just like stay i sucked at coloring in the lines and when i was a kid so coloring in the lines right now is not going to be something that i do we don't need to color in the lines so much uh, should we fill it out to the max absolutely uh, is it going to carry over yeah there's crossover every which way you look in this industry um you know i'll tell you for a fact a good physical therapist should also kind of look like a decent strength coach too and i can tell you um the people that i trust the most are exactly that and including the the person shout out to dina and core pt uh that helped me with my calf when i did that a couple years ago i wasn't just sitting there and getting doing band exercises and you know, getting, getting massages. I was in there working and trying to get this calf ready to roll because I was about to go out there and try and run over people and probably have some people run over me. And that's, that doesn't the, you know, the, sorry for, for the language, the crock of shit physical therapists that are out there not doing that. Uh, I wouldn't trust as far as I can throw them. So again, there's going to be crossover every which way, you know, you want to talk about certain things that can help someone uh, see the results that they want to do. We all know protein is a huge thing in terms of your diet and making sure I can't count. I I've lost count of the number of people that have had good success with um, fat loss while focusing on their protein intake. And, and then you tell them, get some vegetables. You like, you get some fruits. You're like, that's not, that's like, that's pretty generic knowledge right there. That's not me going in and, you know, fixing their diet that's not me going in and uh, telling them exactly what to eat when that's me just giving them some general guidelines that they can follow without having to go hire another person and i think that's the last point that i want to make nobody wants to go out and hire five different people if they can help it if they know one person can mostly help them in all the fields they need they they would much prefer that and that and i don't blame anyone for that you know Strength training is not cheap for the most part. Neither is good PT. Neither is a good dietitian or nutritionist. Neither is a good LMT. They're all very few people can eat these costs without, you know, breaking the bank and going bankrupt. And that's not fair to the clients. So, uh, in the end, you know, yes, we should stay within our scope to a point. I don't think we need to go doing the things that are specialized. Uh, for people that have been in certain fields, you know, as I said, do, uh, dietitians, m licensed massage therapists, physical therapists, and you know, doctors. Just you know, we know where where our bound, know where your boundaries are. Don't try and do the the things that are clearly beyond your expertise, and you know, try and keep try and keep yourself within that and also be as helpful as you possibly can because in the end we're trying to help our clients we're trying to make this about them and if we truly are then we can't be sending them off to five different people every five minutes if it comes down to and i'm babbling a little bit here sorry uh, if it comes down to persons having trouble with their diet really really having trouble with it then yes you probably need to have someone to call and say here's someone that will help you with, you know, your eating and your food and, you know, what your, you know, what your macronutrients should be and all that good stuff. It needs to just be a place that they feel comfortable coming back to in the end. But at the same time, like I said, you know, don't, um, don't send them everywhere all the time. Just make sure that you have a good base knowledge and should they seek you know, five minutes of advice on something, it shouldn't take another appointment that's across town. It should be something that you can at least help with and point them in the right direction for at least. And that's that's my bit today. Uh, anybody that has questions, comments, please drop one down below. Uh, shoot me a message in the email below, but and make sure that you follow me over on Instagram. Uh, but I appreciate everyone for listening. I'll try and be a little bit more consistent with this now that the rugby season's over and I'm not uh, stretched so thin on my time. But thanks a lot for everyone for hanging out with me and having to listen. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon.